Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity. As part of getting started with Spark, we will be seeing how to access the documentation. Accessing documentation is very very important, especially when you give Spark based certifications from Cloudera or Hortonworks, they provide uh, access to the documentation and you should be able to um, get the information from the uh, documentation um, very effectively. So you need to understand how the documentation is structured uh, for Spark if you want to prepare for the certifications uh, pri uh, primarily. So for that reason I will explain uh, how to get into the documentation and how you can actually start exploring the details in the documentation. So here um, first step is to go to Google and search for Spark documentation and give the version using which you, you, uh, you want to get the details. Uh, in certification they directly give whatever version they have as part of the exam uh, they don't uh, give access to the Google but they will give the complete uh, uh, they will download the complete documentation of that version and provide you as part of a uh, remote machine on which you have to write the certification watching the uh, accessing the documentation okay so you can click on any of these links uh, and uh, if you click on this link it is 2.0.0 but our version is 1.6.2 okay 2.0.0 is relatively new as of today and hence I instead of going to 2.0.0 I want to use 1.6.2 for that you can just say uh, spark.apache.org slash docs and then you can choose the version you want to get into and then if you see you will end up in spark overview this is the tab which will take you to the overview and this is the home page and here uh, it will start with downloading running simple examples launching on a cluster and then the most important aspect for the developer or most important link for the developer is the spark programming guide either you can click on this or you can also click on here and go to the spark programming guide before getting into the programming guide you can go to quick start and you can see uh, bare minimum basics of spark okay uh, but to get full programming uh, full documentation you have to go to the spark programming guide and also spark have different modules and uh, uh, as explained earlier and uh, all the uh, all the documentation uh, related to modules can be accessible by clicking on appropriate links here so if you want to get into the details about spark streaming you can click on this if you want to get details on data frames data sets and sql you can click on this for mlib which is machine learning you can click on this uh, like that so the most important one is spark programming guide uh, if you want to explore core apis or core spark apis uh, irrespective of the programming language and it starts with overview and you can see that uh, there are three tabs in most of the sections initializing spark scala java python using the uh, shell scala and python because java does not have the shell associated with it only scala and python have similar to that you for each and every section you have um, all the relevant programming languages uh, spark supports okay so in this if you want to get uh, all the scala documentation by default it is scala you can get the documentation related to Scala and all the code snippets related to Scala. Okay, but if you want to explore the documentation from Python, just click on Python on any one section and everything will be refreshed to Python. Now everything is Python based uh, documentation, Python based code snippets. If you want to go for Java, you can click on Java and here uh, it will give the details about the Java based APIs and everywhere it will change to Java. So click on one location and it will change uh, on all the uh, on all the sections okay so this is how you can access the documentation and out of this documentation also i will say what are the most important things you need to focus on the transformations actions are the most important ones they are the core apis for spark and you have to master them uh, to uh, before getting into the other modules because even if you use the other modules to actually write spark based applications uh, for most of the frequently used transformations you have to use uh, spark core apis and then you have to use scala programming constructs to write uh, scala or python programming constructs or java programming constructs 
to write full uh, full blown applications okay so core spark apis transformations and actions are the ones which you should focus on and uh, uh, you should master as many as po uh, as many as transformations and actions as possible before getting into the modules uh, and uh, start exploring the other modules such as spark streaming mldb etc so this is how you can access the documentation it is very straightforward and i will be using this documentation wherever it is uh, required otherwise i will be um, uh, showing you my uh, website and uh, course snippets on my website to demonstrate wherever uh, i have to demonstrate using custom course snippets for regular documentation i will be focusing on um, the spark documentation as well while uh, demonstrating or explaining the concepts of spark that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you like the content please give me the good rating and also provide the feedback if you see any gaps so that i can work around those gaps as part of my future videos or at times i will even reshoot um, the current videos where you are not very happy okay if you are not very happy on any of the videos please provide uh, uh, the feedback by messaging me and i will try to work around it or i will justify why it is so uh, if you are um, uh, satisfied then then give the rating uh, please uh, give me the good rating because it will make the difference that being said thank you bye